My new listing is more than meets the eye. Yes, of course, it's very cute, stylish, and a little more affordable for Seattle, but it's also surrounded by some of Seattle's best restaurants. So I'm gonna show you where you have to grab breakfast, lunch, and dinner at some of the best spots around town. I can't guarantee this will be healthy, but I'll also show you a spot where you can walk off some of these calories. Oh, and we'll check out this really awesome condo I just listed as well. I'm Monica Church, Seattle real estate agent, and let's get into this video. First stop is breakfast. This was a three minute walk to Fuji Bakery. You cannot miss Fuji Bakery because it is magenta. Fuji Bakery is a very famous Japanese French bakery in Seattle. It's been around since 2009 and I've actually never been. So obviously that's the first stop we're making today. This is the ube and this is the crunchy. Both are so good. I love the ube the best. Okay, I told myself I wasn't gonna eat everything in this video, but I think I, I think I have to finish this. It's so good. Directly across the street from Fuji is Champagne Diner. This is not your typical diner. It's very hip and chic, and it is one of my favorite brunch spots in all of the city. The menu is extensive and delicious. The food is organic. Today, I got the Bacon and Tomato Benedict. Whether you live nearby or across town, it is worth the drive to come to Champagne Diner. Is that bacon? Mm-hmm. bacon, huh? It's really good. It's very good. Context, I typically don't like bacon on things. This is an exception. You've been warned, be careful if you are a picky eater because they will not accommodate substitutions. Feeling pretty full, so let's go take a food break and check out my new condo listing. Welcome to my newest listing, 500 Elliott Avenue West. This is a one bedroom, one bathroom at 730 square feet. To the left, you're going to have your full bathroom and then the kitchen. This kitchen was updated with all new appliances throughout, as well as quartz countertops. Beyond the kitchen, I love that you have an ample amount of dining space. You could really fit any dining room table, as well as your living space. The best part about this condo is the southwest facing corner that this unit has with views of Elliott Bay. You also have your own deck right off of the living space. This is less exciting aesthetically, but extremely exciting functionality wise. The sellers added air conditioning really spacious bedroom as well. And I love that the seller set this up. She actually works from home and you can see you have plenty of space to work from home here. I love the layout of this unit. I love any condo that walks through the closet to get to the bathroom. That's like such a nice feature to me. So the bathroom has access from the master or you can shut that if you have guests and they can just access it from the hallway. Now, if you're interested in the condo that I showed you, I am sorry to tell you, but also super excited to tell you guys, it's already under contract. We received three offers within 24 hours of going on the market. I think there's a couple factors here. Amazon has announced their return to work. I already touched on how I think the condo market's kind of coming back a bit, which we are seeing. And this condo was put together really Really well. My sellers did economical updates and staged it perfectly. So much so, I am actually working with my seller to create a little bit of a staging company. If you own a condo in Seattle, I am excited to now be offering staging included with our listings. If you own a condo that you're looking to sell anytime soon, you can reach out to me at monica.church at compass.com. Right outside the condo, you have everyone's favorite hot chicken spot sisters and brothers. This is more than meets the eye because at first glance, it looks like an abandoned Chinese restaurant, which is actually what it was until Sisters and Brothers took over. Sisters and Brothers has been well-loved for years in the Seattle area. It is everyone's go-to for hot chicken sandwiches. Dining in is such a funny experience. They have hilarious memorabilia everywhere, like creepy looking dolls, pictures of raccoons. It is the most random decor in the world, but it also just feels like a fun laid back dive bar. They also have this outdoor area. I've never eaten out here, but in 
typical sisters and brothers fashion. It's very funky looking. Here is my order to go. So I got the Seattle hot regular chicken sandwich with a side of mac and cheese. They're obviously known for their chicken sandwiches. They come with mayo, pickles, romaine lettuce, and the chicken. The spice levels are Naked, which is a one, Seattle Hot, which is a three, Nashville Hot at a seven, and Insane at like an 11. I went with Seattle Hot. Beer Hall is a favorite, especially any sports fan. It feels like you're transported to Europe or something. It's in this kind of old warehouse feel. And with that, you feel like, okay, it's great brews, there's good drinks, but the food's probably not that good, right? No, the food is actually so good. And what you need to get is their pretzel. It's amazing. I swear, it's like a pretzel croissant mix. It's so good. They host trivia and they are dog friendly. That was a lot of food. Seriously, some of Seattle's best, but I saved the best amenity of this condo for last. You might have noticed looking outside of the window, there's actually a pathway right by the water. So just a couple blocks away, there is a pedestrian bridge that takes you to the Elliott Bay walking trail. This spans a couple miles right on the water. It'll take you all the way from Magnolia to Pike Place Market. It's such a wonderful spot. It feels safe, friendly. This is basically the backyard of any downtown condo owner. Thank you so much for watching today today's video. If you liked this foodie and condo tour, let me know in the comments. Leave me a comment. Let me know if I should do this with my next listing as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.